My name's Kayla, and I'm here to show you Read Naturally Live. It's a reading program that's helped me a lot. Before I started Read Naturally Live, I read slowly, made lots of mistakes, and had trouble sounding out words. But now that I've completed some levels, I'm beginning to read like I speak. And now I understand what I read too. Let me show you how to do each step in this program so you can become a better reader like me. Let's get started. This is the Read Live homepage. Your teacher will show you how to get here. To log in, I click the student button. My teacher, Mr. Ortega, gave me our school's account number, which the program remembers. He also gave me a user ID and password that I enter myself. Then I click log in. If my teacher has assigned me programs besides Read Naturally Live, logging in takes me to this page. If I see this page, I click Read Naturally Live to open it. Please select a story. Did you hear it tell me to select a story? On each step, the audio tells me what to do. If I don't hear the directions or don't remember what to do, I can click here. Please select a story. I can pick any story I haven't passed yet. This one looks interesting. The first cell phone. Are you ready to start this story? Before we start working on this story, I'll show you around. First, look at the progress bar. It shows the Read Naturally Live steps. This little arrow points to the step I'm on. Right now, I'm on key words. The steps are done the same way in most stories. The only differences are in the phonics stories. I used to do the phonics stories, so I'll show you the differences as I go. Click each key word to learn the word and what it means. The key word step teaches me important words in the story. I click a word to learn what it means so I can understand the story better. Cell phone. A cell phone is a wireless telephone. Tell me that class was canceled because of the snowstorm. I get a gold star after I listen to the definition of each word. To move on, I need to click Next. But look, the Next button's grayed out and can't be clicked until I do everything I have to on the page. See this star? If I don't know what I have to do, I click it. For this page, I have to open each keyword and listen or read along. When I've learned all the keywords, I click Next. But first, I'm going to show you the keyword step in the phonics stories. It's the first place that's a little different. It starts with the phonics lesson. Look at the keywords. The words follow a pattern. Each word has one vowel followed by a consonant and the vowel E. In the phonics stories, I couldn't click the key words until I listened to the lesson. Listen for the A sound and notice the silent E in each word. Make, wade, wave. Then I clicked each key word to see a list of words with the same pattern. Hear another lesson and read the words with the narrator. Make. The A in make says its long sound, A, and the E is silent. The next three words have the same pattern. Read the words with me. Rake, Rake snake, snake, quake. quake. When all the stars were gold, I could click next. Look at the story title, key words, and picture. Write a prediction about the story. This is the prediction step. It's fun to use the title, key words, and picture as clues to what the story is going to be about. It helps me understand the story better, too. I type my prediction in this box. After I start typing, I only have a few minutes to write. If I see the clock, I know I'm running out of time. When I'm done writing or the time's up, I click Next. Play Wordtastic while you wait for your teacher. Click the best answer to score points. Now I'm on the cold timing step, but I can't do the cold timing without my teacher. So I play Wordtastic while I wait. I click the best answer for the bolded word. If I can't read a word, I click it. Beat. Defeat. The answer will be a synonym, antonym, or definition of the bolded word. If I can't remember what a synonym or antonym is, I can read the hint. When I'm ready, I click the circle next to the answer I think is best. The computer shows me the correct answer, and if I'm right, it gives me points. But if I'm wrong, no points this time. 
I'd better look at the correct answer so I can get it right when the word comes up again. Patient. Patient? But patient's not a synonym for impatient. Oh, it's an antonym. That was tricky. From now on, I'd better check to see if I'm looking for an antonym or a synonym. That's enough for now. When I'm ready to quit for the day, I have to click log out and return to the student login page. The next time I enter the program, it will open to the page I was on when I logged off. Now it's your turn to try Read Naturally Live. Log in, select a story, listen to or read along with the keywords, write a prediction, then play Wordtastic.